What's up, Facebook? I just want to get right to the point. Everybody likes to criticize, throw their two cents in, as if they know how people feel. Now, look at me. You don't know if I'm Italian. You don't know if I'm white. You don't know if I'm Spanish. You don't know where I'm from. But I don't look like an African-American. So let me just tell you, you can't speak upon other people, whether it's creed, race, or color, unless you live in their shoes and you've been in their shoes and I've never been in their shoes. But let me tell you how it felt when I was, it was eight o'clock, it was the other night and we had a curfew in New York City. So I'm driving home and it was about nine o'clock. So I broke the curfew. I'm on the road, which I shouldn't have been. So as I'm driving, I was afraid that I was going to get pulled over by the police. So I get off the George Washington Bridge and there I am, boom, right in the Bronx, University Avenue. And there's cops on the corners. There's cops with white uniform shirts, which means you're either a lieutenant or a captain. So you know what I did? I turned the inside light on. Just in case they would have saw me, they would have said, well, okay, it's nine o'clock, he bro broke curfew. But he is a white man, okay? I don't want any backlash. I'm not looking for anybody to, re to, 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 to comment anything and get into an argument. I'm just going to get to the point. So I drive by Ram Barkley. He happened to have been in my back seat because Big Ralphie was in my front seat. So with the light on, it looks like me and Big Ralphie, two white guys, are driving. And I was saying to myself, they're going to look at the truck, say, this guy broke curfew. Oh, well, it's two white guys. Let them get away with it. No big deal, right? That's what I'm thinking. So as I'm driving, I ran home. I ran said something really interesting to me. He said, do you see how you feel? You're afraid of being stopped at the red light where the cops are? Or you're being afraid of being stopped and pulled over because you broke curfew from the police? Or you have the light on so that when they look into your truck, they see two white guys in the front. Well, guess what? That's what we feel like every day of our lives. And when he said that to me, I actually had the chills go through my body and I felt what it felt like to be in his shoes. For that second, I realized, hey, I'm afraid. It's an hour late. I should have been home at 8 o'clock. I'm late. I'm on the road. I might get pulled over. And I'm only going through this that one time in my lifetime. And Iran Barkley told me that's what it feels like to be a black guy every day of their life. So, like I said, let that sink in for a moment. Because I'm not here to argue with anybody. Because I don't talk politics, I don't talk religion. If you want to argue with me, go ahead. You're not going to get an answer. I just want those of you that are smart enough to really understand what I just explained to you and how I felt at that moment to be where Iran is every day of his life. Take care, people. Peace, happiness, and love.